Another first down, inside handoff, Spiller, big hole, breaks a tackle, breaks two. Inside the 30, down to the 27, give him 20 more yards. Coming near side, pass is caught, Anaya Smith, touchdown. Play fake, nowhere to go, so Crum will take it himself. Crum to the 20. He'll run out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A lot of bells and whistles deep inside the red zone for Kent State. Crum keeps it and is slammed to the ground. So a 30-yard field goal. Kick is on the way. And Andrew Glass at his first kick at the collegiate level splits the uprights at 7-3 here at Bryant College Station. King did a great job in drive one of this young career. Well, the fortunate bounce certainly helps out Texas A&M with outstanding field position. They'll hand it off to Spiller, and he's inside the 35. He picks up a dozen yards on that carry. Safety closes on it. King just airmailed it. A 49-yard field goal attempt on the way from Seth Small is good. The young man has converted 80% of his field goals over the last two years. Breeze aren't going to cut it with what this young man, this new quarterback, is doing already. Wide open near side. Big catch. Marquez Cooper out to the 45-yard line. And here we go. They got that first down after a pickup of 20. The three Bs of receiving at the tight end position, that young man has all of them. Averaged almost five catches a game last year. King, this is what he can do. A danger with great speed. Turns the corner, gets out over the 30 to the 33-yard line. He's demanding, he's not demeaning, but he coaches him up, and that young man can take it. King flushed out of the pocket. Throws on the run, and Weidermeyer makes the catch. First down, Texas A&M at the 48, a 13-yard pickup. It'll be third down and 10. Pressure comes, they pick it up, and King sees a little bit of a hole, dancing around. Still running. He's going to run for a first down. My goodness. King tripped up and dropped right there. That'll be a loss of four on the play. He drifted upfield right into the mouth of that safety. King on third down. All day to throw, and Anaya Smith bobbled it, but caught it. Inside the 40, down to the 36-yard line. That'll move the chains. But he seems to be a little bit different than most guys that can run a 10-1. Finished 11th at the NCAAs. Batted in the air, and that one is picked off by Kent State. They snuff out the drive. They'll have it at the 21-yard line. Elvis Hines comes up with the interception. This is the first time that we saw King kind of force the ball. If it doesn't work, throw it out of bounds. True freshman Bryce Foster in there at center. We expected to see him early, and that has been the case. Out of the I formation, they hand it off right side. First down, and then some for Spiller out to the 25-yard line. On first down. Four-man rush, Anaya Smith breaks a tackle in, inside the 40. Gain of 24 yards, brought down by Dean Clark. Aggies have put up 275 yards of offense here in the first half. King is four of his last five. That one is picked off again by Elvis Hines, his second tonight. He set five receiver look. Crum, though, will keep it, have the first down and more. Crum walloped about the 40 yard line. Flags come in. It definitely was a run look to the right side right there. Pocket stands tall, going to the end zone. Nobody there, and it's intercepted. A touchback in the end zone as Leon O'Neill comes up with the interception to stop the golden flashes say he could be the first tight end to go. And they go right back to him. Makes the catch inside Kent State territory at the 46-yard line. 
from the near hash. And that one will split the uprights. Second down and nine. Pressure comes. Crum feels it, but nowhere to run. A defensive front that's missing two of their best guys in McKinley Jackson and Michael Clements, who are suspended indefinitely. They've held up pretty well today. Johnson coming from the left to the right and was out of time with his blockers. Crum this time over the middle. Picked off. Leon O'Neal. Some redemption. He's to midfield. He's got some blockers. O'Neal will take it to the end zone. 85 yards. The adjustment that Texas A&M has made, they bring a safety late, and that safety was Leon O'Neal, and then Kent State thinks they can throw a run pass option, the pass portion of that behind the safety, and O'Neal would have none of it. And we talked to Mike Elko this week. Movement and relocating offensive linemen to a different point of attack. Working off the left side. Here goes the speedster, A.J. Nobody in the building's going to catch him. Touchdown, Texas A&M, 63 yards. Pit cam, and right there, it's over. You could see the other guys chasing were starting to lose ground, not gain it. You don't gain ground. Good times. Your eyes are really lighting up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Here's King. His eyes are lighting up, trying to go deep. Has a man, passes, caught! Caleb Chapman down to the 20. 55 yards on the throw and catch. You just hope that, you know, if you're Jimbo Fisher, your, your, your club isn't thinking about Alabama just yet because Kent State with another interception this one on a deflected pass there's a new sheriff in town pulling the trigger and Haynes King has a little bit to learn down goes Crump and they replicate it here today and boy what a sight it has been Haynes King the freshman Nowhere to go, and he's dropped. They can get a first down, but there's not a whole lot of room down there. It's about the one-yard line. Third down coming up, pass over the middle. They may not even need to worry about it. They get six instead. Uh, Nia Smith, 14 yards out, his second touchdown of the night. Takes a little bit of time. The middle receiver starts there, but then you have to go to that next window, and that's why King had to wait a little bit longer handful of Division One basketball offers, but it already committed to commit to Kent State and kept that commitment. Big hole off the right side. Williams still on his feet, breaks a couple of more tackles, driving down to the 30-yard line. A huge gain for Kent State and Williams. Eight carries, 73 yards. A keeper by the quarterback, Colin Schlee, will get him in the end zone. So the first touchdown of the night by Kent State he does a great job of sticking it in there and riding that down inside forever. How much production do you lose? We showed that graphic earlier. Almost all the, the past numbers because Mon's not here is. AJ turns the corner to the goal line. He'll be knocked out of bounds just shy of that line. It'll be first and goal now for the Aggies, a 30-yard scamper. A-Chain stays in the game. They're going to let him cap off this drive after that big run that set it up. And another touchdown on the board for Texas A&M, the second TD of the night for A-Chain. Carries 44 yards on the ground on this drive, caps it off from a yard out. Good drive. Next, and then it's Iowa and Maryland back-to-back. -back. Schley trying to spin out of trouble, nowhere to go. On third down and goal from the one. They will lose nine. And that goes with the quarterback. It goes with his receivers that I think ran poor routes in two of his interceptions. And another interception here. Flag in the middle of the line of scrimmage. Well, Kent State will have the football. I believe that was in the area of holding. We'll wait just a moment. Nico Bolden comes up with that pick. Glass. 
Hits the upright. He missed it. Twenty-four yard miss to end this game. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.